In this video, we're going to craft the legendary Griffin Witcher gear, the entire set, all the way up to Grandmaster level, level 100. So I started the playthrough at level 61, and uh, that means that this set is going to be level 100 at the Grandmaster level, and you get to see those stats at the very end. Uh, you know, I started out uh, with about 67,000 crowns and ended up with about less than a thousand crowns making this set. Subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss our next video. So, you know, the big thing about the Griffin armor is its uh, sign intensity. It's for a Meiji Geralt. So if you like to, if you like to cast a lot of signs in your uh, attack modes that you you're you're focused on uh, maybe hard sweeps or uh, other you know a lot of igni uh, when you're you're attacking your foes then maybe the medium armor griffin is the way for you because it really increases the sign intensity while gives you a pretty good armor set in terms of uh, resistances you know it 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 uh, looks you know pretty ornate <laughs> when you look at it uh, but uh, you know it can be good fun uh, you know the the way that I was uh, the reason one of the reasons why it cost me about 67,000 crowns to craft it and and I didn't craft the swords here so I had been crafting the swords from let's see uh, since really the beginning of my NG plus playthrough uh, because I like to alternate the Witcher school swords so I have like uh, update every so many years so I did have like a master crafted one of the steel or silver swords and the other one was already grandmaster crafted so if you're crafting the swords too i show you the swords and their hit power um but and the their crafting components but if you're crafting the swords too it might come closer to a hundred thousand crowns the other thing it, with my situation here is I, i'm crafting all the witcher school sets right and I crafted the Viper set, which you get in Hearts of Stone. I crafted, which is a level 39 set. I crafted the level 40, uh, which they're all level 100 in NG+, Plus, but they, their first level, the first playthrough is 39 or 40 uh, for the Viper versus Grandmaster set. I crafted... Uh, those before I also crafted the Banticore set before this so I was kind of tapped out on kind of the rare ingredients uh, you know I'd use most of uh, my Dimeridium uh, most of my Meteorite um, I still had silver left I was hoarding silver the whole time uh, that I was playing because I knew how important it was for crafting but you know, uh, you can see, you can. We're gonna change out the outfit so we can see what he looks like in the Griffin School gear. So we got the pants here, and the gloves. Yeah, for the basic set, and let's also put in the boots. So you know, the 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 legendary and then the first playthrough sets look exactly the same. They just put legendary on the title. Uh, they they differ in terms of the top line numbers, which is a function of how uh, high a level that you do your upgrades at and you can get the set at. Uh, the, so this is 395 is a top nine number for the armor. And the the other parts is a uh, so the percent resistances because you're playing an ng plus they they don't they're going to be fairly similar to the grandmaster percent resistances so you get big percent resistance increases uh with your armor 
as you as you go from basic to enhanced to superior to master crafted and then grandmaster crafted in your first playthrough but at ng plus because the resistances are so high to make it not super easy yeah, you should check out our toxicity glitch uh, video and uh, you know with the toxicity glitch uh, you can kind of uh, increase your hit power by over a hundred percent so we're crafting the enhanced and you know I was even running low on like hardened leather although I could have crafted that I did have a lot of cured leather so I guess I could have crafted some more hardened leather leather and even uh, dismantled some straps one of the things I'm doing here uh, that I'm not showing you all the side crafting. We're only showing you the the armor, the Griffin armor that we're crafting, and the Griffin swords that you would craft. But we're not showing. I'm not showing you all the kind of like intermediate dismantling and then the crafting of the intermediate components like the silver or like the silver meteorite or like uh, dimeridium. All the things that go into that but I was pretty tapped out here so I'm actually gonna buy these leather scraps but I, I probably could have dismantled that and saved a little coin on this uh, you know there's a there's a lot you can do to kind of save coin uh, if you craft the intermediate things I think in general uh, if you have one of the ingredients then crafting upward is probably in your interest obviously if you have two uh so if you have a silver ingot and a meteorite ingot then making a silver meteorite ingot is cheaper than buying of course a, a silver meteorite ingot uh, and then a lot of times dismantling is also cheaper so if, we, if i dismantled the the cured leather into leather scraps that probably would have been cheaper than buying the leather scraps but they're not that expensive. Uh, you know, the big expenses are the dimeridium, enhanced dimeridium, or enriched dimeridium, and and things like that. Uh, the other thing is like the dark iron and the dark steel. I don't think you can loot enough of that to, to make a ton of sets. Uh, and so you're going to end up buying that. And that was something that he, he was kind of running out. So I was kind of lucky that the Grandmaster Armorer here had enough supplies that I could finish the set in all one sitting. I didn't have to meditate a lot. He does regenerate his supplies. So you look at the Legendary Griffin Silver Sword Enhanced and then the Steel Sword Enhanced. You see the plus 22%. Sign intensity for the steel sword plus 25% critical hit damage bonus plus 5% critical hit chance plus 5% bonus experience from humans and non-humans. So that's a really high percent critical hit damage. Uh, well, that's not super high. Um, you know, I, I find that the, the, the one with the highest critical hit damage is the Ursign. But other ones have a greater critical hit chance. And I think most of these bonuses are half of one and uh, is like uh, half a dozen of one or six of another, right? It, I think that in the end, they're not that much different. And the all the level 100 uh, Witcher School swords have the same top line you know fast attack and and strong attack so here you go this is the enhanced set so we got the enhanced set i guess we get some spikes there looks a little more interesting uh oh, it looks like i didn't update the trousers yet forgot to forgot to do that but we'll we'll do that uh just shortly here it also helps to have a shirt. Uh, so when you start these things, you need a shirt uh, for that. And not all the armorers will have a, a shirt. So 
usually these quests you can loot them in in the original quest so i've been doing the griffin's ghoul quest for a long time but i didn't craft the armor until i hit a level 100. all right so we're going to go to superior level we got the boots is 183 top line uh, so that's your initial hit resistance and then i think it's all additive for all the different pieces i don't think it matters on where they strike you uh, and then the percent resistances uh, are about six to seven percent for piercing bludging and slashing and i think all that adds up for the four pieces of armor which are the boots the pants the chest piece and uh, the gloves all right so the you know got you got a 34 percent resistance from damage for monsters. You know, you compare this to the Ursine set, which is like 47, 48%. Uh, so it's a it, it's a step down in terms of that resistances. Of course, it's a lighter armor, and so you should regenerate stamina more, although, of course, you could get the levity uh, for the heavy armor, and uh, then you, there shouldn't be a stamina problem for the Ursine set. Uh, so I... I played mostly with Ursine. I I had a like a magey build for Geralt in my first playthrough, and I I did muddle through that, but I I just uh, never had enough stamina to cast the signs. So like sign intensity is one thing, but do you have enough stamina to cast the signs? So maybe if the signs are stronger, but you know the thing about The Witcher Three is like uh, the you know, Quinn just works really well at the basic level. Uh, and then the... Now, Ard uh, is probably the more uh, important sign from an offensive point of view than Igni. Igni was very strong in The Witcher 1, uh, but very weak in The Witcher 2 and 3. And so, I, you know, I think if you have a ton of sign intensity with that, uh, it doesn't do you much good. I, I've always found, you know, if you really want to burn them, the, the dancing star is just as good. And that doesn't, that doesn't do, that doesn't have any problems with, uh, there's no problems associated with the dancing star and, and stamina. All right. So we're getting the enhanced trousers. We did not make those before. Uh, so 12% sign intensity, 167, and now we're going to make the superior right after that. So it looks like we have everything for that. You need some monster eggs for that. That's interesting. Uh, so, yeah, it's good to keep uh, track of the rare alchemy uh, items. I didn't find any problems with these things, but they potentially can be, uh, especially if it's like your first playthrough. So they've got a 41% resistance to elemental damage. That's pretty good. Uh, you find the elemental resistance are very high. And I think people do have a lot of problems with the djinn, for instance, in uh, the, the last wish. And so maybe the elemental uh, resistance are very important. So like if you're struggling with that quest, which is like a level 20 or so quest, uh, one of your earliest quests, and it's a side quest in Skellige with Yennefer, of course, and you fight the djinn, uh, you know, if you're having trouble getting past that, you should maybe think about, like, putting on some witcher armor or doing some witcher, getting some witcher armor that has uh, the resistances. So the the superior level sword, which is uh, level 87 based on my playthrough, so I started level 61 so I could get 100 uh, Viper gear, level 100 Viper gear. And so technically level 100 for me is only 39 levels above where I started, but uh, the, they still kind of like flatten everything at the top so that if you start at level 60 or above, you're going to have uh, level 100 Grandmaster gear. Now it's very hard to start at level 60, so Superior is uh, oh, I didn't. Uh, we still have the enhanced gauntlets there, so we need to upgrade those gauntlets. So those are the same gauntlets. Let's see what we look like overall. Oh, I like those little patches. He's got those little square patches at the bottom. I guess they're like pockets or something for him. So 
So it does look like there is a bonus to stamina. Uh, and then the Yurden trap. So if you have three legendary, you get the bonus for stamina. Which, of course, is, you know, you if you're doing a science build, you want to do everything you can to increase your stamina. Uh, and that will allow you to cast more signs uh, in combat. The... And I would say, you know, stamina is probably even more important than intensity. Um, I actually don't, I, I, after my first playthrough, I, and even late in my first playthrough, I, I think I took a potion of clearance and changed everything up to a, a attack, um, alchemy build. But there are two signs that I really like to upgrade, um, well, just one actually, uh, it is Axie for the dialogues and upgrade it to the third level so you can uh, do two people Axie them at once with the third level. So maybe in the comments you can say, uh, is it okay to just have the third level uh, Axie slotted or do you need both of them slotted uh, to, to have one person Axie dialogue? I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you know, one of the big constraints on the character panel is how many slots you have and so uh, especially in ng plus you're going to have a lot more you're going to have a lot more um, points in terms of uh, like place of power points or points for getting a level then you actually have uh, slots to slot them in so you you're actually going to end up skill switching so here we're looking at the superior legendary griffin gauntlets and uh, we got 179 armor mastercrafted uh, griffin gauntlets we'll make those I'm gonna buy the silver plate I think because I don't think I have enough meteorite to make the silver plate and that's uh, 195 armor plus 15 sign intensity 7% resistance to piercing slashing monsters and plus 20 elemental right so those elemental resistance are quite high i think the other things that count as elementals are golems maybe um besides gins which also do a lot of damage of course okay the trousers 199 armor so that's a plus 16 upgrade uh yeah so it seems like I think for like the pants, boots, and um, gauntlets, they increase by two top line points per level. And then the, the chest piece armor, I think, increases by five points per level. And then the steel sword increases by eight points per level. And then the silver sword increases by 10 points per level. All right, so we got the, we want to, the legendary Griffin Silver Sword, sword Master Crafted. Uh, so you've got a 10% critical hit chance, which is pretty good. That's pretty high, even though the bonus plus 50% doesn't compare great compared to the other sets, uh, the other Witcher School sets. Um, so you need the Siren Vocal Chords, the Egg. Uh, and then dimeridium ingots to make the legendary master crafted. Okay, so this was a level 95 for me. And then level 100 is going to allow us to, to get the grand master set. So let's look at, oh yeah, pretty shiny little gold tints to it. Kind of fun. Kind of bows, uh, bows out. So it kind of makes them look a little chubby, uh, not as felt as, as some other armor sets. But you got the chain mail showing there. Uh, and he's got the, the knee pads. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's we'll look at all the master crafted stuff. Uh, we got the plus 30 sign intensity. Uh, plus 36 to resistance to monsters. So it's about 12% less than than uh, what you'd get with the Ursine set in terms of monster resistances. Um, and it looks like the the bonus is for the Yurden traps and then, then also um, 
stamina. So you can cast more signs. So that's good. Uh, and the boots plus 15 sign intensity. So if you add up all these sign intensities, it looks like you'll get, you know, well over 50%, close to 50 to 100% uh, increase in sign intensity. Which probably makes uh, makes a difference for art sweeps. Uh, you know, if you're doing a piercing cold build, uh, you know, that that can be pretty effective in terms of stunning your opponents and allowing them to you kind of almost one hit kill them the you know I just find that uh, a lot of the signs seem like substitute for bombs so uh, the Ard sweep is a substitute for the northern wind bomb and then the uh, of course, Igni is a, a substitute for the Dancing Star Bomb. So we're going to... let's. Oh, I like the little griffins on his shoulders. That's pretty cool. So let's just tear things up here. Yeah. Show off the swords. He won't mind. So one of the things in The Witcher is you, can't, you cannot kill the vendors. Right? It's impossible to do it. Uh, there was like a glitch, I think at one point, where people had figured out how to kill uh, the blacksmith in, in uh, White Orchard, but they got rid of that glitch. He, he would like throw uh, some bumblebees his way, and, and that would be able to kill him, but now he won't die. So obviously, uh, if, if Geralt could attack all the vendors, then he would just get rich too easily. Uh, so you're going to have to actually loot to get rich. or uh, I can show you the Pang of Consciousness glitch, uh, which I have a, a video about on the channel on how to make a lot of money fast, but you can't do it by killing the merchants. You can't kill the merchants just like you can't kill your brothers in arms or your sorceresses in arms. Uh, so there you go. Make it a bit more civilized in The Witcher 3. Uh, okay, so let's make the the Grandmaster armor. Okay, so we get plus 34 sign intensity, plus 26 resistance to piercing, 545 armor, plus 20% resistance to bludgeoning, plus 33% resistance to slashing. Uh, yeah, so I mean, there are definitely um, armor sets that are non-Witcher armor sets that'll give you better resistances uh, to bludgeoning and slashing and piercing. Um, you know, one of my favorites is the Zareel set, which you uh, loot from the big flying creatures. There's a couple of them you can pick up. Uh, one is the creature from the Oxenford Forest, uh, which I recently picked up at level 100, and it came in at level 98. I picked up another one around level 77, and it came in at level 74. So it seems like the Zareel sets come in a few levels below. Uh, when you pick them up, but it could be based on the level of the quest, although I think the level of the quest was 96 and I got the set for 98 for the creature from the Oxenford Forest, so I think it's a function of your level, not the the level of the quest, is my guess. Uh, and that, of course, will give you better res chest piece resistances. So the gauntlets, uh, plus 40... Oh, here we go. The trousers, 45% resistance to elemental, plus 14 to monsters, 12%. You know, but when you add up all these percentages, it, it, it makes a, a big difference. And if the top line numbers take away the initial part of the hit, uh, then you could take substantially uh, less damage. Uh, that being said, I... You know, with the level 100 Grandmaster says, I found that uh, we do take damage, um, significant damage, uh, especially from sword wielding humans. Uh, so there you go. I, 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 it's it's not like you're overpowering with the 100 level 100 set. So this steel sword 774 to 946 damage, 50% uh, critical hit damage bonus but a very good 
10% critical hit chance. Um, yeah, so this is a, so all the Grandmaster legendary swords at level 100 have the same, uh, all the steel ones have the same 774 to 946, and all the silver ones, the Grandmaster legendary Witcher School swords have 1021 to 1247 damage. Uh, now, I have the Toussaint Knight Steel Sword, and that has higher top line stats uh, than uh, at a level 100. And that has higher top line stats than does all the uh, all the Witcher School Swords. So I think there are lootable or or diagrams that you can loot that are in Blood and Wine that are actually better. So that I think, if I recall, maybe Arendite's, you know, fast hit was like 1,080, I would want to say, 1,081, and then maybe he's closer to 1,300 for the strong attack for Arendite, which is a silver sword. Uh, you have to do kind of, kind of a lot of quests and fulfill a lot of uh, things to, to pick up Arendite um in in the witcher 3 uh there's a quest that, that there can only be one and there's a big list of things you need to do so it looks you know overall it looks pretty cool the grandmaster set is a little green uh maybe some armor dye would make it look even cooler uh you dye it from the green to maybe a red or yellow or blue or turquoise something like that i think might be better than the, just the green um and you got the complete set here so you can get all the bonuses and you got the griffins on the the side of your arms to get the little tassels uh looking good uh the the crossbow i have is a tucson crossbow that is the best crossbow in the game um so the witcher school crossbows are not upgradable i'm not sure that all the witcher schools i don't think griffin has a, a crossbow i think feline and Ursine have a crossbow for sure, but I'm not sure about the Griffin. Uh, maybe I missed that part of the quest, but I don't think there is a Griffin crossbow. Uh, but those Witcher School crossbows are not as good as the Toussaint crossbow, which is the silver one on my back there uh, in terms of hit power. And you just buy that from Lafarge here. Uh, you know, you get the best saddlebags at, from Lafarge here. You get the best um, blinders, saddle, uh, except for maybe, I don't know, if you get Gaunter Dim saddle, if you're willing to, if you don't want Irish, you don't want the the Viper Venomous uh, Silver Sword, then you could just let Old Gear die in Hearts of Stone, and then you get the, the saddle, which I think makes you go really fast, and it also... Uh, it's pretty cool. So check out our top five swords video for The Witcher 3. I'm Linus Wilson. Subscribe.